Hi, welcome to my tutorial on using Zap Proxy. Today we're going to be showing how to intercept traffic that is sent between you and a website. And then we'll also be looking at how to modify that traffic using breakpoints. So to begin, um, make sure you've checked out my other video on setting up Zap Proxy and how to configure your um, network settings within your browser so that the traffic is being sent through the proxy. Uh, once you've done that, I'm going to go to this webscantest.com website. And this is basically a website that's been set up to um, allow people to practice different web application security vulnerability scanning techniques. Um, in Zap Proxy here, you'll notice that the webscan test page has come up. So if we go ahead and we click on the cross-site scripting test. I'm just going to be using this as a quick demo. I'm just trying to find a form. Okay, so we've entered some data into this form here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. So back here in Z Attack Proxy, you'll notice that there are a number of submenus underneath of the website that we visited. And one of them is a post, and it will tell you information about where it's going, about u2.php, as well as the parameters that are being passed. So you can also go over here, and you'll notice that there's a request tab and a response tab. The request tab shows you what you sent to the server. In this case, F name was Bob, Nick was Bobby, and the last name was Smith. And the response shows you the response that the server sent back to your browser that allowed it to display the content. So you'll see here this page is the response that was sent. So now in order to intercept this traffic we need to set up what's called a breakpoint. So if we set a breakpoint on this page because this is the one that's handling the data that we want to edit. We're going to right click and we're going to click break. And then it's, we're going to click add. Now what we've done is we've, add, we've added a breakpoint at this particular page. So if I go back, uh, all right. So if I go back to this page and I try entering my content again, and we hit submit, you'll notice that the page sort of hangs; it doesn't continue loading. But if we return to Zap Proxy, the reason is is because we've intercepted and we've temporarily broken this request. So you'll notice under the break tab here that this form down here is editable. So you can go in here and you can actually change the content. So we can change F name to instead of Bob, we can type Bobby with a bunch of Ys. And then we can use the play and stop buttons up here to submit these request changes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button now that I've submitted my change. And it's now paused again with the response, so I'm going to hit play again to allow that through. Now you'll notice in our web browser that despite the fact we typed in Bob on our original form, it's actually showing out Bobby because of with all the Ys, because that's what we edited in Z Attack Proxy here with our breakpoint. Now there's a number of things that you can do with this, and I talk about one of them, which is fuzzing, in another video of mine, which is cross-site script fu scripting fuzzing using Z Attack Proxy. So if you look up that video, you'll notice that there's a automatic way of scanning a website for all of the different cross-site scripting vulnerabilities in one pass. So this is a quick guide to intercepting, intercepting and editing traffic using Z Attack Proxy. Thank you for watching, and if you have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave a comment on the video. And also be sure to check out my other videos as I'll be adding more advanced topics on using Zap shortly. Thank you.